Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Teresha. Today we're going to be cooking pork chops. But before we start, don't forget to go and subscribe. Also, like this video, leave a comment, tell me what you like. So, we're going to start off by seasoning the pork chops. I am using um, peppercorn, salt, lorries. Y'all know that's one of my favorite seasons. I think I have a little onion and garlic powder and then we're going to move on and place it in the skillet. Before we put it in the skillet, we want to make sure our butter and oil is completely melted and mixed. You want to make sure that your skillet is heated before putting your meat in there. I also use fresh rosemary just to give it a little more flavor. So I let the rosemary kind of simmer inside the butter and oil and then I place the pork chops in the hot skillet. You don't want to um, crowd up the skillet so make sure the meat have room just so we can make sure it's cooking completely. Also you want to make sure that you're not cooking it all the way. The fact is to brown the meat because we're gonna put it in the oven. Now I did go back and season my pork chops just a little bit more because in my household we like seasoned meat and when I say seasoned that is an extra ED at the end. You don't have to go back in and season it. It's all up to you and your taste buds. So I cooked all of the chops about seven minutes on each side because remember we're not completely cooking it through because we're going to put it in an oven just so it can cook all the way. So we want to flip them over to make sure both sides are getting the little browning done. Also why um, I have the other side cooking, I am picking up some of that butter and oil and placing it on top of the pork chops because I do not want it to dry off. Again, I added a little more seasoning. What you do on one side, you do to the other. So once they are done on both sides, we're gonna put it in a larger pan. I was gonna put it in my skillet, but I didn't have enough room for all of the pork chops. So I decided to put it in this foil pan and put it in the oven. Now we're gonna start with our broccoli casserole. So usually it's called broccoli cheese and rice, but because we're not eating rice, I'm gonna use cauliflower as my rice. So I'm gonna use my broccoli, cauliflower, cream of mushroom, and cheese. I'm going to season it. I, I'm still using the Lari's salt and pepper just because that combination works so well no matter what it is. So after I mix all of that, we're going to put it in the oven and we're going to let it cook for about 25 minutes. You want to make sure the cheese is melted on top. Oh yeah, I do see that I did put a little onion powder in it. That also tastes so well with this combination. Make sure you are stirring it completely. We want to make sure all of the cream of mushroom is touching every piece of food. So I didn't record my shrimp because it's really easy to cook and I believe I have a video on how I cook my shrimp. I cook it the same way. But this is me showing you how 
the broccoli casserole came out and the pork chops how brown it is i paired it with some stella rosa and here is the finished product let me know if you want to try this recipe let me know how it comes out make sure you subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye